What's up, everybody? It's Draymond Green. Make sure you subscribe to the Volumes YouTube channel below so you don't miss any more of this great content going forward. And speaking of, of playing as long as I could possibly play, I can't help but to ask. I know since I started coming uh, to Turner and working with you guys, I've been hearing even well before that, that Chuck's going to retire in about a year. Chuck's going to retire in about two years. And I know you recently just came out and said you maybe got two more years and then that's it. Like, is it serious this time? Or or do you just kind of take it year by year and, and go as go on how you feel? Well, I think that you're gonna run into this when you get older. Dude, I've been doing this 21 years. Now, like wow. if I was doing it five years, I wouldn't be thinking about retiring. Wow. So I, I'm in year 21 now. And then I got two more years left on my contract. And like I say, dude, I turned 59 last week. So I ain't mm -hmm. no young ass dude. And I'm smart enough to know, and I'm not one of those guys who worried about death. If I die tomorrow, man, I had a good run. But I do know I'm closer to death than I am living. And <laughs> I'm going to be a grandpa, hopefully in the next week to 10 days. Wow, congratulations. And I don't want to, like I say, and I, and I can say, I don't want to die on television. I want to be die traveling the world, having fun. You know, I want to be a, I want to be a great grandpa. I do. I want to be a great grandfather. But like I say, I'll be 60 years, 61 in two years. And like, like I say, we don't know how this thing going to end. But I want to be able to say like, man, he wasn't working. He was traveling the world. He was having fun. He was golfing. He was fishing. Man, I just saw Charles. He was over in Italy. I saw him. On, <laughs> uh, they had a, you know, I just saw him. He was over in Germany. I just saw him. He was over in Spain. I mean, because all the work that we have done, uh, you know, going back to driven that stupid basketball in the parks and things like that, mm -hmm. like you built yourself an amazing life, yourself and me. Like, why not enjoy the back nine? Absolutely. Because even though the work ain't hard and it's fun, you still have something to do all the time. That, that yes. I tell people, I says. You still have stuff to do all the time. And that's what, like, if I could just show up at the studio and just do basketball, like, no, I have to do X amount of interviews a day. I to, you know, I to, like, you know, you have to go and pump up the show. That's really what's really fun. I'll tell you this funny story. Not many, not many people know this. And I'm probably going to get in trouble for telling you this. <laughs> we actually hired Kobe Bryant. At Turner. At Turner. But he didn't want to do all the other bullshit. <laughs> this is one of the, uh, and I'm probably gonna get in trouble for saying this, but this is one of the like little things that bit that we kept we keep in the car. So he actually signed with us. But then when we started telling, like, you know, I have to do a bunch of radio shows, like, hey, I go on this show on Monday, so hey, from Thursday night TNT, same thing on Tuesday, same thing on Wednesday, same thing on Thursday. He like, yeah, I don't want to do all that stuff. <laughs> he says, well, you, you have to promote the show, Kobe. So Kobe actually is so funny. And like I say, it's probably only 10 people in the world know that, that he actually signed with us. He's like, no, nah, I'm not doing all that other bullshit. And he just like, no. Nah. But it, it was funny because like I say, we always have something to do. Yeah. So, so wait, hold on. So Kobe signed, and he was going to be on, on like, just one of the guys on the Thursday night crew? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and he had, he had, he had signed with us. David Levy, my old boss, had signed him mm -hmm. to a deal. And we were excited. We were really excited. And then he called me back, like, a week, 10 days later, somewhere in that time frame, like, yeah, Kobe's not going to come. We're like, why? Because he don't want to do all the PR stuff. He don't want to go on radio shows and talk about basketball. I'm like, well, that's part of the gig. Mm -hmm. I mean, people need to know, hey, I'm on Thursday night. Because if you notice when you do interviews, they're like, hey, welcome from TNT Thursday night, Charles Barkley. Yep. Same thing, you know, you talk to Kenny and Shaq. They always, because that's that's part of the promoting the show. So mm -hmm. it was funny, though. He didn't want to do all that. And uh, he never, uh, never came to work for us. Wow, that's interesting. I, mean, I think that's great for me, too, because the reality is, is, you you know, you see the job that you guys do. And unless you're tuned in to the radio shows or 
you catch one of your snippets when you break the internet. Um, yeah. you, you don't you don't really know anything past you going up there on Thursday nights. And yeah. yet it seems to be so much more to the job than people even know. You know, you'll hear people say, oh man, Chuck make all this money and he only work one night a week. And from by what you're saying, that's far from the truth. Well, it, it is far from the truth. Well, because really the only time you really work is doing the uh, playoffs. You like work every day for two months. I mean, that's when it's hectic and there's a lot going on. But during the regular season, you really only work it one day a week. So that's when you really have to pump it up more. Like mm-hmm. everybody's uh, going to watch the playoffs. They're like when well, the playoffs start, they are on 40 days and 40 nights. But during the regular season, you have to pump it up all week. Like, hey, we're Charles Barker Thursday night. I do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Just let, but like, I mean, that's part of the gig. Uh, yeah. But you know, Kobe didn't want to do all that stuff, and uh, <laughs> and it never worked out. That that's funny. I mean, as for especially for someone as hard as working as Kobe, like, no, nah, I don't want to do all that. But then you think about it, and the reality is, for everything that he gave to the game of basketball, I can understand him saying. Like, nah, that's too much for me. Like, I don't, I don't want to do that. And and quite similar to what you're saying about being a great grandfather, I think at that point in his life, the most important thing for him then was being a great husband and and and, and being a great dad. And we saw that, you know, like we saw that with Gigi in her basketball career. You see the videos with him at the mall and uh, with the baby girl and all of that. So I think that's a very interesting, just a, a very interesting thing overall. But, well, you know, okay. and uh, as a as a dad to a daughter, the bond you have, like I've been in the NBA for thirty seven years, and wow. guys don't give a shit about sons, but <laughs> they love their sons. They love their sons, but it's just some about a girl that she has you wrapped around her finger, and like it, it, I used to joke about my daughter all the time. I said my daughter asked me. Dad, I want to go to outer space. I was like, well, let me see if we can fit it in the budget. Like, <laughs> there's no way you can tell your daughter no. Like, I like I say, I've been in the NBA for 37 years. Do tell their son, like, get the hell away from me, man. No, you can't have that. You can't have that. But I but I ain't never heard one of my dudes say, Yeah, man, my daughter, I ain't got no chance against her. Whatever she wants, I'm gonna give her. And then when mm-hmm. I got my daughter, I was like, damn, I know what you mean now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was like, nah, man, whatever. I mean, she just the most, like, it, it's crazy how they have so much control over you. And like I say, I've been around this game, and the guys would tell their sons all the time, man, leave me alone, man, and you're bugging the hell out of me. But when they come to their daughter, like, no, nope, whatever she wants, she gonna get. This it, it's a really crazy dynamic, but it's true. 